Each one of us can build wealth, replace scarcity with abundance, replace average with greatness, replace uncertainty with conviction. Success is there for the taking. Small business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, and the ambitious. Grant Cardone tells you what you have to do to prosper in this new economy. He'll inform you in everything business, finance, and career related. Get ready. Find the knowledge for your success. It's all here, right now, in the Cardone Zone. Welcome to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone here. I appreciate you taking your time. Here it is, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Miami. Beautiful Miami Beach. Today and every Friday, I come to you to talk about your business, your, 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 your finances, and your career. Today I'm talking to you about how to rip off. That's right, I said it. How to rip off the IRS. How do you flip the rip off? You know they're ripping you off. Okay, you know they're stealing from you. You know they take money from you and then give it to the federal government who wastes the money. I mean, the Uncle Sam, the Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, the IRS is the worst uncle you ever had. I mean, I mean, I know some of you have had some bad uncles. Maybe they ignored you. Maybe they took advantage of you. Who knows? Maybe they felt you up. I don't know what they did to you. But this uncle, the IRS, Dude, they're the worst, man. They just keep boom, boom. They just drive it to you every way they can possibly drive it to you. And, and, and I'm going to show you. Look, if you don't learn this game, you don't learn this game. Look, the taxes in the IRS are like Monopoly. If you own the right, the right blocks on Monopoly or you play any game, there's just certain hacks to games, and the IRS is a hack to money. And I'm going to show you something I've done my whole life. I don't know how I knew how to do this, but I've always said, hey, man, look, if they write a law, remember this, if they write a law, somebody decided on that law, and the people that decided on that law are rich people, okay? Those are congressmen and senators. They decide on that law, and that law benefits them. So if you can figure out what those guys did to benefit themselves, tap into it, you'll save money. I can actually show you how to turn taxes into income. Okay, now I'm going to show you, I'm going to take today, I'm going to take today uh, uh, somebody here in my office. Uh, last year, they had $45,000 in gross income, okay, and $4,000 uh, uh, $4, went out in tax, f federal taxes, $2,800 in Social Security, and $651 in Medicare, all right? First, there's the taxes came out of that person made $45,000. Four grand went to the IR and the S, $39.58 to be exact. $2,800 went to Medicare. That went to the federal government, by the way. They sit on that. That's an Obama money, you know. And then $650 went to Medicare, which she'll probably never get in her lifetime, okay? Social Security is the second number. She'll probably never get that in her lifetime. So notice that of the $45,000 she collected, $6,800, $7,600 went to the federal government to something everybody, Republicans and Democrats all know those people cannot be trusted. Would everybody give me a shout out? Amen. amen. Just give me an amen if you hate the man, because I hate the man. So I'm like, dude, how do I figure out how to rip off them before they rip me off? And how do I rip off the IRS and they can't do anything about it? I want to break a law, dude. I want to break the law and not be penalized, okay? And how do you do that? Because you got to know the law. I mean, how many times every day I sit here, you got to know, man. It's the big word. The biggest word you need to understand is know. What is the law? What does the law say, okay? Well, the first thing the law says is that everybody, okay, including this person, should be taking nine exemptions. 
Every person watching this show should be on nine exemptions. You should never, ever give the IRS money beforehand. Now, what they threaten you with is a penalty. If you underpay us, okay, that, that, that money is withdrawn from this, drawn from this person. You, you understand the IRS does not trust you, okay? They take your money, Robin, before you get the money, okay? Let me, let me show you what the federal government thinks of the everyday person. We don't trust you, man. You go to work, you get paid, we take money before you get it. You understand the federal government gets that money before you get that money, okay? Money, money is written to you, diverted to them, and then you get whatever's left over. That's how little they trust people. Now, your job is to intervene. You want to get, you want to get, like, the, the money goes like this, okay? Your employer, and by the way, your employer is not the problem here, okay? Your employer writes a check, okay? Money. The check was supposed to go to you, but who intervenes? The government intervenes. The IRS intervenes and said, no, interrupt that check. That's called a via, okay? They via that money. You do not want that money going there first. You want to reduce that amount. The first thing you want to do, everybody watching, I don't care if you're 12 years old, 18 years old, 88 years old, you want nine exemptions, okay? Nine exemptions means you are claiming that you take care of nine people. Actually, that's not what it says. It's saying you want to take nine exemptions and max out or reduce the amount of withholding, and everybody should reduce the amount of withholding. Why would you want to pay a thief before you need to? Okay? Let somebody else do that, man. There's enough ignorant people on this planet. There's enough ignorant people in the United States that never pay attention, that have no idea what they're paying out. My name's Grant Cardone, and you are in the Cardone Zone, where we make money. There is only one thing that ensures the future of your business. Communication. Information, business deals, new prospects, client management only functions with a strong communication platform. And that's our goal at Mango Voice, to deliver quality customer interaction with the best business phone system on the planet. Connect your office with Mango Voice and enjoy mobility of taking calls from your cell phone, multiple office setup, no maintenance fees, secure cloud-based service. Mango Voice ensures your business future with perfect communication. Sign up right now for a free Free consultation at mangovoice.com forward slash sign up. That's mangovoice.com forward slash sign up. Too many people are being kept from their dreams by circumstances they couldn't control and mistakes from a long time ago. All they needed was a second chance or a fresh start. That's why Cash Now was created. Since 1997, Ray Abood, owner of Cash Now, has been the premier expert in home renovation and resale in the York Tri-State area. Dedicated to premier customer service, getting the best deals at the lowest price, this is the only expert company you should deal with when it comes to buying and selling a home. Offering a five-step home buying process, Ray and his team will ensure your needs are covered and get you closer to your dreams of buying a home in any city across the United States. To find out more on how you can get started on owning or selling a home, visit CashNowPA.com. That's CashNowPA.com to get started. Hey, if you like the show today, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and post your comments. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. There'd be another... Welcome back. Dude, welcome back. Welcome back. Great to have you guys here. It's awesome to have you here, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good because I'm talking about ripping off. Gonzala. Is it Gonzala? Who? The monster, man. Godzilla. Goli Goliath. Godzilla. 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 I can't even talk right when I think about the IRS. I hate them so much. Man, my hate twists my tongue. Okay? I hate the IR and the S. I hate them, man. Hey, let them know. By the I've been audited four times, man. I won three of them and got, re I got bigger checks. I got money, more money than they were claiming that I owed them three out of four times. And the other time, I gave them what I'd owed them. <laughs> I'm like, dude, look, I'm stretching the law as far as I can with the IRS. I'm going to do everything I can to freaking rip them off. Because if you're not trying to rip them off, they're going to rip you off. Okay? And the only way you can rip somebody off is to know, hey, dude, where's the money? Where's the money going? How's this game work? Okay, it's a freaking game. Why do you think Trump does not want to show his taxes? All right? Because he knows that you, everyday people, that haven't taken responsibility. He made the comment the other night. Dude, if I don't pay any taxes, that means I'm smart. He didn't say he didn't pay any taxes. He says, if I didn't pay any, I'd be smart. And you would be too. Okay? Why would you want to give some money to an uncle you never meet that wastes the dough? You don't even give money to your own damn uncle. 
You don't even buy your own uncle a present on his birthday. So why would you want to overpay this guy? Now, this person right here has got two kids to take care of, okay? At the end of the year, she pays in rent $15.50 a month. Utilities are $150. Daycare is $1,200. Car bill is $200. Insurance is $1.65 a month. Gas is another $100. Groceries are $400. This person's spending $37.50 out of four grand. where is the money? This person makes $4,000. $37.50 goes out the front door. That person's left with $250 a month to live on. It's impossible, okay? So the first thing you want to do is, how do I get the IRS? Okay? Number one is exemptions. I talked about the first segment. Number two is, you do not want refunds. Refunds are an indication that you are an idiot. Okay? I'm just keeping it real, man. Why would you pay somebody money and wait, man? Come on, that's stupid. Why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. You have a refund because you don't know the game, because you are overly conservative. This is your mom and your dad. This is an old thinking. Oh, the IRS, they're going to come get you. They ain't going to come get you, man. You're making 40 grand a year. They, don't, you, they have zero interest in you. They're interested in the guy that's making four, four, 40 grand a month. That's who they're interested in. Because they can actually collect from that person. What are they going to collect from this person? So if you work for somebody else, you're filing. Now, if you're, you're, if you're, if you're a 1099 and you're making $40,000 a year and you're not filing, oh, you're going to get busted. Okay, so number one, exemptions. Max out your nine exemptions. Number two, you do not want refunds. Okay, you do not want refunds. Refunds indicate you're overpaying. Number three, you need to know the law of what you can write off as an expense. Okay, for instance, this person has... This person I'm talking about has $1,550 a month in rent. I would tell her, I would tell this person immediately, get involved in network marketing. You go buy a $95 membership in network marketing. You take one room in your apartment and you take that $1,550 and you write off about $400 a month in rent because you're running a business out of that deal. Okay? So now watch. I just took her $45,000. I'm, lo I'm looking at the law, $400 a month in write-off, 12 months, that's $4,800. She could literally, this person could literally wipe out their entire tax bill in one move. I'd look at the car that you're going to buy, okay? I, I own a Range Rover, okay? Let me just tell you why I buy that Range Rover, and I don't have a freaking Rolls, uh, 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 Ferrari or a Rolls, or, because I am allowed to write off $135,000, the complete amount of that car because of its weight, it's written in the law, man. And so much for the gas guzzler. They actually put a law in uh, back during the Bush era. It was actually before Bush, okay, that said anything over 5,500 pounds, you can write off 100% of the purchase in that year. So all these politicians, all these politicians. Oh, by the way, that law is still there with Obama. It's still there, man. All these politicians that talk about get rid of gas guzzlers, we got to we got to conserve the environment. Okay, we got to go green. Dude, they're still rewarding people for buying 5,000 pound vehicles. So I can take my taxes. Let's say I made a million dollars last year and and the state uh, the federal government wants 40 40% of that, 38% of that. They want 380 grand. I can whack that bill by $140,000 right there. Who's buying my damn who's buying my Range Rover? the federal government. This is why Donald Trump doesn't want to show his taxes, because he's smart. He's going he's gonna to show you, he's going to get down to as little money as possible. Why? Why does he want to get to as little money as possible? Because he knows the government's going to waste it. You guys, the government squanders money. It's like trusting one of your kids with your uncle, and you know he's a pedophile. Ooh. Keeping it real, man. <laughs> Keeping it real, man. Keeping it real. You're in the Cardone zone. It's not the polite zone. It's not the politically correct zone. Baby, it's the real zone, okay? So look, I gave you a couple of tips here. Now, everybody should be involved in network marketing. Why? Dude, I, people are like, I didn't make any money in network marketing. Because you're stupid, man. Okay, I can spend $200, set up a business, and write off everything. A new computer, pens. Paper, business cards, dinners, entertainment, 
everywhere I go, my drive to work, which you can't write off now, Robert. You can't write off in the IRS code. You cannot write off your drive to work. But what if Robert was involved in network marketing and he stopped and saw somebody every morning and gave a card at Starbucks? Hey, here's my card, guys. I'm in network marketing. Ha, ha, ha. His drive to work now that he can't write off is now a, an attempt to drive business to his second business. And now his drive to work is written off. And if he was smart, if he was smart, he would lease his car, not own his car. And he would pay $300 a month in a lease, 12 months. And he would write off all $3,600 of that lease every year. The whole amount. Yeah. How much do you have to make in the network marketing thing to write it off? You don't have to make anything, man. You just need to work it. You need to document that you're working it. Okay? So me putting in a schedule, stop at Starbucks, saw this person, saw that person. You just got to make... You see, but see, money's not important to most people. You guys never get yourself in the money zone. That's why we do this show every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard from here, and I push it to your phones, your tablets, your computers. We use the YouTube and we use the Facebook. And see, 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 I get to write everything off. I want a new studio, I write it off. Who paid for the studio? The I, R, and the S. Because I hate the damn guts, and I'm looking for every opportunity to rip them off. It's right here in October. I call my accountant. You ready, dude? Let's rip them off. Because I want to rip them off so I don't get ripped off. All right. My name is Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone. Stay with me. We're going to take some callers. Call in 305 865. I'll show you a way to rip off the IRS. In life, anything can happen disasters, losses, unexpected things that are not part of your business plan. And when it does, the next step is to figure out how to get back to business as fast as possible. That's where Pride Public Adjuster steps in to properly manage your insurance claim, create a strategic recovery plan, and get you everything you are entitled to from your insurance company. Our experts ensure that your insurance company will restore you to pre-loss condition or better. Since Pride works strictly on contingency, there is no risk and we don't get paid until you get paid. We are the only public adjusting firm licensed in every state in the United States utilizing our our own in-house team of insurance professionals. We work exclusively for you, the policyholder, not the insurance company. Contact us today to receive a free claim review at prideadjusters.com. That's prideadjusters.com. Settle for everything with pride. That's prideadjusters.com. Financial independence is what every person seeks in today's world. With so many options when it comes to investing, it can be confusing to know what to do. Specialized IRA services helps you know the right direction to go. Whether you are looking for a self-directed IRA, a retirement account, or need the know-how, on funding a new business. Specialized IRA services help you gain control of your assets, your money, and your investments while being educated on the entire process. In removing Wall Street out of your investment, you can be sure to spend less on investment fees, taxes, and make more on your returns. Let the expert team at Specialized IRA services help you transform your family legacy and secure your financial independence. Visit SpecializedIRAServices.com That's SpecializedIRAServices.com to register for more info and receive a free ebook on your guide to financial freedom. That's SpecializedIRAServices.com. Leave a mark in your neighborhood with a lasting impression. A professional landscape can deliver that and more. And the man to bring it to you is Steve Griggs. Awarded the National Best of Howes in Client Satisfaction in 2016 with clients such as Dr. Oz and the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Steve Griggs is New York's best landscape designer. This isn't landscape design. This is lifestyle design. For more information, visit stevegriggsdesign.com. That's stevegriggsdesign.com. Hey, if you like the show today, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and post your comments. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Hey, if you like the show today, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and post your comments. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Hey, my name is Grant Cardone. Welcome back to the Cardone Zone. The number here, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. Look, I am not a tax man, okay? I'm not an accountant. I have an accounting degree, and I'll tell you right now, I've had an accountant for 25, 30 years now, same accountant. I'm smarter than him. I am, because I'm more committed, I'm more committed to the game than he is. He is reporting my taxes. I am trying to plan how to reduce them, okay? So every year, starting in October, tomorrow's October 1st, I'm looking for ways to jack the IRS. 
Dude, I'm waiting for a way to jack. Hey, 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 John, have we done everything? Oh, yeah, we've done it all. Good, man, well, good. If we've done it all, what haven't we done, John? Okay, what do we need to do? Uh, nothing, we've done it all. John, talk to me, man. So I'm looking for every freaking angle, dude. I go in thinking I'm going to rip off the IRS, and I'm going to do it without breaking the law. Okay, so how can I how can I do this? Okay, for instance, how can I pay somebody one hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars last year and they get a loss of they get to claim a loss of eight thousand six hundred thirty eight dollars? This person's retired. All income hits her bottom line. Okay, I send her a check for one sixty eight over over twelve months, and then at the end of the year, I send her a K one called a K one form. She's an investor in my real estate. And I send her what looks like a loss of almost $9,000. She didn't have a loss. All she had was income. But the way they wrote the law, the way they write that law, is I'm able to do some things with my real estate that allow her to pass on a loss to her. Okay? A loss to her. And she's able to take that loss and say, hey, I, she paid less taxes this year on more income than ever in her life. The whole thing's flipped. Okay? But you got to know. One way to make income is to drive income, and another way to make income is to drive expenses down. You end up with more income. A third way is to not pay taxes, okay? And taxes are one of your biggest expenses. Consider that somebody that's making $45,000 a year, okay? Making $45,000 a year, I think this number was $965, okay? Uh, the food bill, the food, uh, the rent is fifteen fifty. Okay, person screaming about rent. Rent is terrible. We're getting ripped off in rent. I want to own a home. Okay, one hundred and fifty dollars for for utilities. Eleven sixty for daycare. A hundred, two hundred dollars for a car. Uh, Four hundred dollars for groceries. What's the biggest one up there? Nobody even knows it, man. You know why? Because they take it from you first. Don't give them that money. Okay, don't give them that money. You paying a refund means you're not paying attention. Remember this. Paying a refund means you, being paid a refund means you weren't paying attention. Dude, you want to lower that thing to zero. Man, if I could get it to zero, why did I move from California? Beautiful weather, California, beautiful. Man, I lived in Lionel Richie's house. I had it made. Why would I leave there? Because they stole my money. Right? You come in my house and you start stealing my stuff, dude, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> okay? I, so I got to figure out how do I lock the house down? You guys got vaults and safes and protect your stuff, lock your car up. You're not locking up your money before it even leaves you. Go ahead, Robert. So, so do you have to like resubmit your tax form to, to do the process all over again? And the second thing is, can you clear up write off? I'm a little, I don't know if I fully understand so, the process so Robert's of write off. So, a single dude. Okay, Robert's a video guy. Okay, Rob, Robert does video here. Robert also does advertising for our company, and he, and he creates. And Robert's got a lot of income now. Robert's gone from making forty or fifty thousand a year to one hundred and forty thousand dollars a year. Is that right? So it's. Tax bill is going to go up. So let's just take his deal. I'll just take his deal. Let's say he makes $145,000 a year. The government's going to take, they're going to take from you right away. I guarantee you they're trying to get. Uh, they take like about four. 30000 bucks from you right off the top. They, they take a lot, dude. Okay, yeah. probably more than that. That's only 20%. Yeah. Okay, they're probably closer to 30%, which would be $42,000. That's at 30%. That's at 20%. All right. Now, Robert's job is to get this bill down to as much, as low <clears> as possible. Okay. <clears throat> First thing he can do, it's not a big deal, nine exemptions. Second thing he can do, that way he tells my accounting department, hey, claim nine, they'll take less money away. Also, when you max out your Social Security every year, tell them, hey, quit taking Social Security money from me. You can tell them that? Yeah. Hey, dude, don't take any that. more from me. You can say that? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm done. Tap me out. I'm done. I don't want to make any more contributions into something that won't even exist when I'm 80. Dang, dude. Quit paying into it, man. Okay. Now, we're not even talking about Social Security, Medicare. They're, they're required. They're stealing from you. That's why all of you out there, oh, I like my health care program. Dude, they're stealing from you, man. They get money from you and force insurance on you. It's a scam. Don't you get it? That's why y'all got to think about how you vote differently. So, so see, see, the only people that don't care about this are who? Rich people. No, the people that don't care.
I do care about it. The rich people care, dude. This is not a statistic. The rich people don't pay in any of this stuff. Because they invest in things that, that allow them not to, okay? So the next thing Robert needs to do, after his exemptions, Robert should definitely lease a car. Okay? He should lease a car. He's going to pay 400 bucks a month for a lease. He's going he's to write off $5,000 a year. He's going to write it all off, too, Robert. You're going to write off 100%. You're going to tell them, 100% of what I do is for business. Okay? Even if it's not true, he should claim that and say, come back and prove it wasn't. It's true. Right? And then you guys do what you got to do to prove it. Because, by the way, Robert's with me in the studio every day. Dude, 100% of your time should be been a, I never tell anybody they should be doing anything except business. When you go out and have personal fun, you need to bring somebody with you and do some business. Okay? So when I go to my kid's party Sunday, <laughs> dude, I'm going there. I'm passing out cards, dog. Hey? You guys know me? Buy a book. Get a book. Get a book. Hey, what were you doing there that day? Did I spend $1,500 on my kid's freaking party Sunday? I wrote the whole damn thing off. I, I, fuck, I knew you were going to say that, dude. I okay, why wouldn't I? I get it, dude. See, see, the only reason you guys don't write that stuff off is, number one, you're not committed to ripping off the IRS, and I am. Number two, you don't do business everywhere you go, and I do. Okay, Even if I don't make any money off of it, man, I make money in reverse. I make money by reducing my expenses. You get it? So he should lease a vehicle because the beautiful thing about a lease is you can write off the full amount of the payment. You know, I'll take, I've taken a 48 month lease and before I closed, I said, hey, just turn it into 24 months. Why would I want to take a 48 month lease that's 400 bucks and turn it into a $900 payment? I want to write off all of it. I get to write all of it, man. I want to write up more. I want to write up more if I'm having a good year. I don't want to be in that car for four years. I'll be in two years, have a higher payment. To do all this, though, you need to make money, right? To do any of this that I'm talking about, you need to have a commitment to money. Otherwise, why pay attention to it? You just go glazy eyes. I don't care, shit. I don't understand what he's talking about. Fuck it, I give up, you know? And that's what they want you to do, man. That's what the, the pedophile uncle wants the little boy to give up. That's research. You can read it online. You can find it online. Hey, where's the write-offs for an average everyday person? You know? How do I write stuff off? If I join a network marketing MLM, you're never going to hear this at the MLM meetings because they're under such, such scrutiny, they can't say anything to anybody about anything. Dude, if you start any business from home, any business, I don't care what it is, online, uh, network marketing, Get some products, spend a little bit of money every month, make some efforts to sell that product. I mean, make a genuine effort. I mean, it's better to pay money and pay taxes, right, than to lose money. I can buy, I can buy into a company for 1000 bucks, man, and maybe write off 8000 in a year. Is that a good expense? Is that a good? Well, can, should this person spend $1,000 of her money? She spends that on some other garbage so that I can write off 8000 bucks. Yeah. Sure, dude. Okay, so I could write off $400 of rent. Now, here's the thing on the rent, okay? The old law on office at home used to be you had to have a separate door to get into that home office in order for that to be an office. Now, today, I don't know if that law has been changed. I know this. I would contend today, though, because of the way properties are built, because of the expense of properties, that it's impractical. And by the way, it uh, is uh, profiling Okay, and it's discriminatory. This is the way I would fight the IRS if I had to. It discriminates against me being young and not having the money to think that I need a separate access to my house. When the truth is I can't even afford a house because I, I can't even get approved for a loan, right? You with me? Mm -hmm. So why discriminate against me? I have one door. I rent a place. This is all I could afford. I started a business. Steve Jobs started a business in his garage. So did Bill Gates, by the way. Okay, Lots of people did and paid a lot of taxes later. And that's what I did. And I have 1,000 square feet and 250 of it. All I do in those 250 feet, dude, is business. It's one corner of the living room. And everything there is business. And you take pictures of it. There's a desk. There's an office. There's a computer. And it says, the office zone. Nothing happens here but work. <laughs> Have my stickers and shit all over the place. Have pictures of me. This is the, the zone. Okay? And take pictures, man, and document it and say, hey, one quarter of my rent goes to, what do you pay a month in rent, Robert? 
$500 a month, one quarter of his space, $500 times 12, $6,000 a year. Whack! Rip off the IRS and tell them I said it. You can take this to the deposition IRS. This is how I feel about you. I don't care. It, the freedom of speech. I can do this, man. Okay? Because I'm not going to break the law. I'm going to do it by the details of the law. Okay? And by the way, if I go too far, good. Get the money from me. Get the money from me. When's that going to happen? Three years? Four years? Five years? When are they going to contest this year? Five years from now? Six years from now? Seven years from now? It don't matter what you did. All right, let's talk to Je Jehazus from Sarasota. Every show, though, you know, we come down to this, hey, man, you got to be committed, you know. This ain't for amateurs, man. Winning ain't for amateurs. Yes, sir. What's up? It's a good show right here, huh? Y'all like this? What's up, Jesus? They don't teach you this at school. Let's talk to Mike from, let's talk to Mike from Boca. Uh, how's it going? Come, come on, man. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. I mean, I've been, I've kept up with your stuff. I'm halfway through your 10X book and, and just doing a lot of stuff you've been saying to do on YouTube. And I've moved all the way down here to Boca from like the middle of nowhere to do real estate. And I, I just, I appreciate you, man. Your stuff really like gets me pumped up. Dude, let me, let me ask you this. How much money are you going to make in real estate this year? This is a great profession, by the way, to whack. Well, I, I'm, I'm planning on $150,000 in my first 12 months, and I have no sphere of influence here. Okay, all right. So, so, so you're going to basically go out. You're going to sell a deal. You're going to get a big commission. It's going to get run through your real estate department, through, through the department. Before you get your commission, they're going to withhold your taxes, right? Correct. So what well, you want to do, dude, first we're, thing? We're independent contractors. I mean, I, I, I go through a CPA. Okay, good. So what you want to do, the first thing you want to do on your farm is you want to file, you want to file for nine exemptions. But even, even when you get the commission, dude, somebody's going to process that money and they're going to withhold from you. Even, even if you're 1099, they're going to probably withhold from you. No, they don't withhold nothing. They give it all to me and it's my responsibility. Okay, good. Now, now here's the problem with the 1099. 1099, Robert, means you don't work for me. You work for yourself. I give you the money and you're responsible for the taxes, okay? Now, a lot of people, a lot of employers won't do the 1099 because they're like, if I give the money to Robert, I give him 150000 he doesn't pay the taxes, a lot of employers are responsible if Robert doesn't pay. Well, that's why you won't do it. Yeah, exactly, okay? So either way, dude, you want to claim nine, okay? His problem is going to become cash flow. His problem is what we call the holy grail in business and wealth. Cash flow. Cash flow is the holy grail, okay? Because he's got to live for six or seven months without a deal, and then boom, he finally gets a deal. And then he's like, damn, I got to catch up with the last six or seven months. So he puts off paying his taxes, overspends on the 150, thinks he's rich for a second, and then a couple years from now, we all realize he didn't pay his taxes. That's what happened to Denzel. That's what happened to Kanye. That's what happened to Nick Cage. They didn't pay enough money up front. Thought, okay, I'll keep getting $20 million for a movie and I'll do it next year, okay? And they, they, and, they, and they bust out. So, bro, I mean, look, you moved to Boca. You're in a great market, okay? Take your exemptions. What, do you, what, do you, what kind of car do you drive? I'm only driving a used Buick. It's paid off. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't want a car that's paid off, dude. You need to go get you a car that's leased because you can only write off 6,000 miles a year at like 20 cents a mile, 1,200 bucks. Go get you a car. Go get you a le lease you a Lexus. Pay four hundred a month. You got your five thousand dollar write off. It's not a big deal. Make part. How much you how much you spend a month in rent? I'm only spending about eleven hundred a month. See, see, he's doing all these things because he doesn't have the cash yet. It comes down to cash flow. So he's got to get productive first, right? So hey, man, you got a question? Uh, yeah, man, I, 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 I do like that. I was, I, I worked really hard and I, that's why I picked up your book, the 10 X, because I like really wanted to learn how to like set up planning for grinding. I was starting my mornings at 5 a.m. How do you get the time to be able to work out, still read good books? And I've read everything, so many different books, but it's getting harder to find time to read books and still do the gym and take, take care of your body. How do you do that and still work these long ass hours? How are you doing it? So I can maybe try to implement it in my schedule. Well, dude, I mean, I don't know. how. I didn't work out this morning because I slept in. So now I, got, I, got to, I got to go home tonight. Now it's going to get harder because I'm going to go home. At the end of the day, it gets harder to do it because now I got all this other stuff to do. On top of, I've already made an excuse today. 
Once you make one excuse, it's easy to make a second one. You know, have one Oreo, then you're going to have two. And, and so, uh, man, I don't know, man. Commitment, bro. You got to keep freaking fuel in the fire of the commitment. How do I take time to read about taxes? How do I take, how do I take time, dude? It's because of commitment. How do you take time to put a fire out? It wasn't on the schedule. You know, you wake up yeah, in the morning. I literally you, don't watch no TV just so I can read. So Yeah, yeah. well, there's, there's, you know, like, like if a fire started in your car right now, man, your car caught on fire, man, or ISIS comes and tries to cut your head off, how do you take the time to fight back? Because you made it a priority. So you just got to figure out what are your priorities and get rid of all the other garbage, bro. Got You have a list, man. Have a list sitting next to your bed. Sleeping in. I don't have time to sleep in. You don't have time right now. If you broke, you guys don't have time to sleep in. Okay. If, if, if you're broke right now, you don't have time. Oh, I ain't got time to watch Grant at 12 o'clock. Okay, well, good, dude. That's why we're on iTunes and Stitcher, on YouTube, Facebook. Okay, You couldn't watch it real. But don't make a damn excuse, man. And by the way, you guys that don't have time, you better be with a customer right now. Because a customer is the only thing that's going to solve your problem. Hope that helps, man. Yeah. Hope that helps you, all right? Yeah. How about Josh from Kansas? You guys on Facebook, you freaking awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. Uh, good good deal. Hey, uh, uh, really have a question, man. I just wanted to let you know that uh, me personally, I'm in collections. I don't, I don't work sales. But you don't, you don't, huh? Listing, Dude, let me ask I you don't. something. Wait, wait, Did you bragging or complaining? Uh, a little bit of both. But I just wanted to let you know, man, how excited I have been. Here. I just discovered you about four or five months ago. I've been kind of late to the party. But I just wanted to thank you for, for everything. That, well, what you say, I watch uh, anytime you go Facebook Live, anytime I get a chance to watch you on YouTube, I do. Just because you inspire me and you give me more success is my duty. It's changed my life. For, for the better 10 times, man. I just dude, wanted to call in and thank you. Dude, have you ordered my new book? Have you, got, have you ordered Be Obsessed or Be Average? I have. I ordered it last night. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so did you get the video yet? No. All right, well, it's in your mailbox. You ordered it from me or you ordered it from Amazon? Amazon. If you go order one more copy from my website, I'm going to send you a 10-hour video program. It's a $500 program. And I'm going to give it to you if you order one book from my website. So you guys, you went to Amazon or Barnes or Books a Million. If you haven't taken advantage of this thing I'm doing, one book from my website, and I give, I give you a 10-hour video series, and you're going to be the first people on planet Earth to have this book delivered to you. You can't get the book until mid-October, but I'll deliver the book to you in video. I read it to you. I become your uncle. Okay. Uncle G. Man, I, dude, I, I, I'm telling you, I was average, man. I was, I, I, you know, and then, and then the, the stuff you said, even just the name of your book, be obsessed or be average, evokes such emotion from me. Right, that, uh, dude, it, um, hit, it, hit, it I, hits the right people at the right place, man. I love that, dude. I'm, dude, I'm telling you, it, I mean, it hits you like a sniper from the roof. It just kind of sets you back, you know. And, uh, but I just wanted to call in, man. I'm, I'm actually on, on pace to have a $2,500 bonus check this month. Have never hit anything like that before in my life. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, I know it's just pennies. I know it's where, uh, you know, it's just where, it's just the beginning. But I just wanted to call in, man, and, and thank you. Good, good. Dude, so look, me make, and make, my family, thank make, you. Make, make sure, uh, thank you, man. Thank you for calling in. Make sure before you get that, that commission bonus this month, go to your accounting office and say, hey, Nine exemptions. Give me my nine exemptions. You guys and gals out there, you got three months before this year's over. December 31st is over, man. Whatever you're going to do for your taxes, do it right now. Okay, whatever you're going to spend this year. New computer, tax deductible. If you got a little side business going, okay? You got a little side business. Maybe John's working some business on the side at night after, he, after he's, you know, been sleeping on the job here all day. And then he goes, thank you, man. Thank you. He, he, he goes out and he's trying to get some other business. Man, go buy another camera, man. You're going to buy a camera? Do it. Make sure you write that camera off. $2,000 camera, you get an IRS. Say, hey, dude, I'm trying to make some business, man. But you didn't make any money. Yeah, well, I ain't the only business that failed, dude. But, hey, man, BlackBerry failed. Shit. eBay's going to fail. Okay? A lot of companies failed, man. Shit, just put me in the freaking pile. <laughs> 
Eat me. Because I'm ripping you off. <laughs> Eat me, IRS. I want to rip you off. I'm here to rip you off, dude. I'll even put it on my damn farm. I want to rip you off. Here's my check. <laughs> Because it's freedom of speech, man. You can say whatever you want, man. Just use the law. If you guys use the law, you can say whatever you want. On in, on in. Come on, on in. Let's save you some money, on in. Hey. What's going on? What's up, man? Um, listen to some of your stuff. Well, listen to a lot of your stuff, and I appreciate you. I think I actually try to reach out to you on email or something, but I love, love what you're talking about. I always tell people. There are two types of tax codes, one for the informed and one for the uninformed. That's right. That's right, dude. Um, see, I see, did, like you guys, let me just say this, okay? Anon, have you, have you bought the book yet? Uh, which one? Which one are you talking be, about? Be obsessed or be average. Not yet. I got your closures guide. Okay. So, so you, hey, look, the, all of you that bought the book, tax deductible. I you write everything it. off, man. Everything. I write it. Look, if I could, if I could go take a piss and write off, I would. I checked into it, dude. Can I write off? What would it take for me to write off urination? <laughs> You're right. Everything that we do, or everything that a person does for the benefit of their business in some way, shape, or form, can be yeah. a write off. Well, I, I asked my accountant. He's like, "What?" I said, "Dude, if I take, if I take a leak." And then I take business cards and put them in the toilet. You guys listen to this, okay? If I take a leak and I take business cards, put them in the toilet and flush, would that be counted, John, as a write-off? Nice. Yeah, I'm prospecting the fish. Yep. No, yep. go ahead, bro. Exactly, go ahead. Right? He's like, you're going to probably have a hard time defending that one. Okay. Okay, man, you got a question? I wanted to ask you um, for a while, actually, too. Uh, have you ever looked into executive bonuses and executive bonus plans? For, for like who? For yourself. So like, like if you're a business owner and you take, your, you take an executive bonus plan, I mean, yeah. usually if people do it and they just spend it something that, you know, they, they, uh, they, grow, they grow tax deferred or something or maybe whatever. Yeah, dude, dude, I did one. I, I, yeah, yeah. So to answer your question, I did one years ago and this is okay. what happened. I spent, I spent quite a bit of money creating, creating this scheme. There's no better way to say it. The where, where basically I would give myself an executive bonus for production, okay? And then okay. That, that money would go sit somewhere until retirement and be deferred of taxes, okay? So I've done a bunch of those. The problem is I lost the money, okay? I, I, I can't have the money. Now, I'll, I'll try any of that stuff, but I don't want to give what up. What did you put it in, a brokerage account? Uh, it, was, uh, it, it went to, uh, I think it was set up at Fidelity. Okay, so here's another thing. So this is for everybody actually listening and yourself, and this is what I want to talk to you about. So you can sit, give yourself an executive bonus. You, you know, it's, uh, it lowers the tax liability for the business. As for this you, year. As a business owner, you know, you can take a distribution or a K-1 or whatever, but you put that into an IUL, into an index universal life insurance policy. Yeah, yeah. It grows tax-free, comes out tax-free. So guess what? You never pay tax on anything. Yeah. If you're making, if you're making enough, you can actually set up a cash balance plan, which is tax deferred. It's a qualified quote unquote plan. So tax deferred going in, but you put an IUL in there, it comes out tax free. Yeah. I've been pitched this many times. Perfect. What do you think about it? Dude, I can't get my money, man. I want my money, man. This is your money. This is you making money on your money. Yeah. yeah. And you're leveraging other people's money. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, dude. Look, I, you know, I, 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 the problem is nobody's been able to explain it to me in a manner where I feel like I still got my money. You still what? Say one more and time? I still have my money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. Uh, a, still a guy good. pitched me on this. He's like, hey, let me, let me just work up what a million dollars would be. I said, dude, give me, a, give me what would $75 million look like. Oh, yeah. It's however much you want. Okay, what would $75 million of that cost me? Um... I don't have the numbers in front of me. I don't have the That's what y'all always me, do. That's what y'all always do. Y'all go into I don't know land, and then I go into I don't know land. I'm like, yeah, I knew I didn't know. No, I, I, I don't have the software in front of me. I can't crunch the numbers right now. I can crunch the numbers for you and get back to you. Do that for me, man. Do that for you me. Put, yeah. Make it 25, 50, and 75. Show me both of those. Show me what I can write off every year. I love that. See, now, what he's talking about right there is basically buying an insurance, deferring taxes till later on. He's going to probably tell me I get to never pay taxes on that deal. I don't believe that. But that's what I do with my real estate. Real estate for me has become insurance, okay? 
Like if I die right now, I got 4,000 apartments that are gonna keep paying us rent every month, every month, and gonna take care of my kids forever. And probably take care of the other businesses and allow those other businesses because there's enough cash flow, which I talked about earlier. Look, to play the tax game, you need cash flow. So if you're making four grand a month, first thing to do is get you nine exemptions. It's legal, it's all right. Second, create your little business, create your little business at home, write off part of your rent, lease a car, write it off, okay? And do anything and everything. Like I can write off daycare, man, if I'm doing business. I'm trying to do some business, man, so I need some daycare. Take care of my kids while I went and did some business, okay? All right, let's take one more call. Lexton from North Carolina. Again, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a tax person. You want to check this, run all this by your accountant. But let me say this. You guys need to learn about this before you run it by them because they, by nature, the, the accountants are extremely conservative. And that's why you end up with a refund every year. It's because the tax guy that you got is not doing any progressive game plan. He's playing defense, not offense. Lexton, what's up? Hey, Grant. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, thank, i got thank. a couple questions. Hold on one sec. I'm here myself. All right. Uh, so started the business in February. I'll walk through the business model real quick. And you want to get a strategy since you're in real estate, how to penetrate the market. Um, we approach uh, MDU developers and MDU renovators, and we want to put in fiber optic gig internet networks to increase the property value and increase the telecommunications for that piece of property. As we know, the uh, internet age is coming to um, to it quickly. Yeah. So I want to know how to penetrate individuals like yourself, uh, not in a sexual manner, but like the market. Uh, how, how to get into y'all's deals, where to meet y'all, um, kind of a strategy on that stuff. Yeah, well, dude. So so look, you're, you, it's a sales deal. You know, it's it, it's a sales deal. Like like. You, you should look at, what, what did y'all do in revenue last year? Anything? Uh, we started this year in February. And revenue is zero for, so far. Okay. So it's a sales issue. You got to get in front of the right people. I mean, I do a real estate show every week. Robert, you should talk to him about advertising on the network. Mm -hmm. Because the people that are watching that show are investing in multifamily, and you want to basically provide fiber optics for people that have apartment buildings, retail stores, Industrial sites, Absolutely. probably. Yeah. So, so what, what, what you need to do, bro? It's a sales game, bro. It's marketing, promotion, sales, commissions, uh, close the deal, negotiate, keep a full pipeline. Everything I do at Cardone University is right down the pipeline for what you're doing. And 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 the thing is, you got to pull this future into the present for the for the person that owns those 200 units to say, I'm putting, I'm gonna spend the money today on that fiber optics to make sure I can actually collect revenue from my rent, my tenants and it makes my property more value. So Robert's going to get in touch with you and talk to you about how you can get exposed on our real estate show. Every Monday, I do a show called Real Estate Investing Made Simple. Tuesdays, we do a show, a show called Network Marketing where I interview people that are seven-figure earners. Wednesdays, the G&E show. Thursdays, Young hustlers for millennials. On Fridays, man, I'm talking money, finance, career, business, your business called the Cardone Zone. Whether you're watching on YouTube, Stitcher, we are podcasts, iTunes, GrantCardoneTV.com, man. Make sure that you take the time to subscribe or like that channel and comment. If you don't like, dislike it. I don't care. Whatever you want to do, man, just give me some feedback. Look, folks, the greatest review you can give somebody like me, whether they're writing, they're a speaker, they're an entertainer, the best thing you can do for anybody is write a review, okay? Any of my books that you've read, 10X Rules, Seller Be Sold, Close Survival, uh, Making Millions in Business, MillionaireBooklet.com, any of my books, if you've ordered any of those books or audio programs from any site, Man, go back and do a review on it. Let me know how you liked it. I love reviews, okay? It gives me feedback from people. You guys that are writing reviews on Be Obsessed or Be Average, you're going to get the book about October 10th, 12th, 13th. All you got to do is send me a receipt, a copy of the receipt and the review. Send me both, receipt and review, where you bought it and what your review is, what you wrote a review about from the site that you bought the book at, and I'll give you a credit at my store for the full amount of the receipt. Has anybody ever done this on a book? No. 
Okay, you hear what I'm saying? You go buy a book today for $29, I'm gonna give you a $500 program today. Today, you get it. You don't get the book until the 10th of October, maybe the 12th of October. On the 13th of October, I'm gonna give you 13 sessions in a mastermind. Before you get to the mastermind and before you get the book, you're gonna get a 10 hour video program where I deliver the book to you. There's only gonna be a handful of people on this planet that get this and then it's over with. Or you can go to my store and buy it for $500. I'm giving it to you when you spend 29. I'm gonna give you the 13 day mastermind. And when you get the book, write a review, send me the receipt to obsessedgrantcardone.com, and I'll give you a full credit for whatever amount you spent, no matter where you bought the damn thing. Okay, so it's a freaking great offer. That's how you sell stuff. You wanna sell life insurance? Dude, make me an offer I can't refuse. You wanna sell fiber optics? Make me a freaking offer you can't refuse, okay? Now, here's why you guys don't do that. One of the chapters in this book, Be Obsessed or Be Average, is about being obsessed with money. You will not sell or do what's necessary because you're not ending up with any money, man. You guys are ending up broke every month. Why would you be obsessed? Every check reminds you. Every victory reminds you, shit. Dude, I can't ever get ahead. So the guy throws his hands up, and, and, and basically in defeat. And you wake up the next morning, you're like, man, I got, I got to get my game back on, man. You, 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 every time you get a check, money is a reminder that you're losing because you never make enough money. So look, I'm just telling you the truth, man. You got to get your money right. I've been through all the, all the stuff you're talking about, I've been through. Okay, every, every one of, everything that I've, everything I tell you, I'm telling you, not because I listen to people, because I've been through it. I remember getting the check for eight grand and looking at it saying, dude, where's the money, bro? Fuck, I didn't know about Social Security, Medicare. I don't care about that at 28 years old. They're taking money from me for health care. Your health care is costing you $3,000 a year. I don't care, bro, if I'm sick. Shit, okay? I get sick all the time, man, okay? I wouldn't even have car insurance if I didn't need it. Do you know the last eight years I have not used my car insurance? I don't think I've used it in 10 years. That means I've been paying car insurance at 400 bucks a month for eight years and used it not one time. Even when I go to use it, I'm like, oh man, my, oh no, the deductible. So I'm like, shit, I ain't gonna even claim the deal. You're getting ripped off every day. Don't, there's so many people that will rip you off. Please don't get in the lineup. Damn, I know people running to the front of the line. I'm gonna rip myself off. Okay, so look, understand how much money are you making? Where's the taxes going? Take your nine exemptions. Figure out a side business that you can start working so you can increase your money and reduce your taxes. Thank you for joining today. My name's Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone. Let people know, your Uncle G. I'm that uncle you never had, man. I'm that teacher. You were sitting in that damn class and saying, oh, when's this shit gonna be over? <laughs> I'm that teacher you wished I, 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 that you wanted when you were in high school or college, okay? I'm here to help you, man. Anything I can do for you. Anybody that buys the book today, be obsessed or be average. When you go to my site, grantcardone.com forward slash obsessed, buy the book for $29, I'm gonna give you a $500 10-hour video program where I deliver the book in full video and audio, okay? Thank you a lot for being here today. Have a great freaking weekend. And remember, I'm with you wherever you are. I am there with you.